Monday. So we're going to do our Climate Matters Monday segment and we're going to focus in on overnight low temperatures coming up. Have you noticed a change? Let's take a look at the entire United States now and on average the average low temperature when you look at the numbers here from back to 19. Uh, uh, I think this is 1985. Let's get a closer look at that. 1895. All right, 1895. That's more like it. So this is a long time for the United States and you see that general trend on the average 1.8 degrees and you see it kind of curving up a little bit more towards the end here. So indeed over the, the, the United States, we see warmer temperatures. Now there's a heat island effect that can, that is factored in here as well. It's not fact, maybe not be factored in that as cities grow, they tend to get a little warmer because the concrete holds more heat. So certainly that can be the part of the cost, but let's take a look at some lo local uh, average changes here. This is Twin Falls, first of all, and since 1970 to 2018, we see about 3.2 degrees of a rise in overnight low temperatures. The Boise area on the list of all the cities. This is number six. Number one was Reno. It's 16 degrees warmer since 1970 for the average overnight low. Boise, six and a half degrees warmer. You see it's significant. The nights are just not getting as cold as they have been. Again, is it because it's part of it is it because the city is growing? Well, across the country, 93% of the cities are seeing uh, uh, an increase in temperatures that are similar here. Not quite as high as this, but these are some of the higher ones here in the West. You can get more information from climatecentral.org that compiles all of this information and uh, some good details you can get on the site there 